Howdy, I'm Bob Terry of Wild West Toys and welcome to another action-packed episode of the Cisco Kid brought to you free here on the internet by Wild West Toys. You can shop with Wild West Toys at online at www.toyguntown.com. Let's talk about Leo Carrillo a little bit. Leo uh, did a lot of conservation and preservation work in California and was eventually made the state ambassador by the governor. Um, Leo started his career really with his acting in 1915 and uh, he was quite a fellow. Get ready for another wonderful episode of The Cisco Kid starring Duncan Ronaldo and Leo Carrillo. All brought to you here on the internet free by Wild West Toys. I'll see you after the show. Here's adventure. Here's romance. Here's O. Henry's famous Robin Hood of the Old West, the Cisco Kid. Good morning, Miss Elaine. Same to you, Mr. Jarrett. Nice looking sign. Thank you. I hope it'll bring me lots of business. So do I. And in fact, that's why I came over, to wish you luck. Thanks. I was hoping you'd come over to tell me that you changed your mind. About selling out to you? Mm -hmm. I'll never do that, Mr. Jarrett. Never? As I told you the other day, my grandfather founded the Western Freight Company and ran it till his death. Then my father took over. After he died, I stepped into his shoes. Weren't his shoes a little bit too big for you? Why, I've done a darn good job. Up to now, but it won't be long before you'll find out those dilapidated wagons of yours will give up their ghosts. What you'll find you out that you'll be losing money hand over fist. I All mean. because you're too stubborn to listen to reason. How dare you talk to me like that, you, you Eastern dude. Eastern dude? The Western Freight Company was a going concern long before you were born. And it will still be one long after you're dead. Not if you keep running it. I suppose you think you could do a better job. My stage line proves that. I started with one stage on a 10-mile run. Now my stages cover the entire state. Except between Bitter Creek and Sundance. And they'll cover that, too, one of these days. Over my dead body. <laughs> or yours. Something wrong, Elaine? You look madder than an old hand sitting on glass eggs. I am Klondike. It's that Jared. He's insufferable. I hate him. Huh? Well, I guess I must have heard Judd wrong. He said you went to bury the hatchet. I'll bury it, all right. Smack in Jarrett's head if he doesn't watch his step. Oh. Well, while you're taking care of that little chore, I'll get the wagon ready. Oh, John. What do you want, Cal? Uh, Stark asked me to give you a message. He said, if you don't pay up those poker I owe you by tomorrow, it's gonna make it rough. Well, I, I can't. I haven't got the money. That's too bad. If I were you, I'd dig it up someplace. No, wait. I think I know where I can raise the money, but I'm gonna need some help. For instance? Well, you and a couple of the other boys. What's the deal? Go someplace where we can talk, and I'll tell you.
him out of that wagon. Wouldn't it have been just as easy to shoot him? Yeah, but with them dead, who'd drive the freight through? Oh, there's plenty of drivers. The Western Company can't afford their wages. Old Klondike works for next to nothing <laughs> because he likes his boss so much. <laughs> just like you, huh? <laughs> yeah. Okay, let her roll. Why are you stop, Cisco? That man needs help. How you know? The way he's walking. He's walking is good for you, good for the panza. Lots of people do it. Yes, but they don't walk on high-heeled boots, reeling around and holding their heads. That man is hurt. Come on, Pancho. Howdy. Howdy. Yeah, I'm uh, glad to see you fellas. Hey, you don't have that little extra water, do you? I'm so darn dry and parched. Pancho, get your canteen. Did you have an accident, Mr. Uh, Fondike? And what happened to me were no accident. I was held up, pistol whip, and set a foot just that quick. Uh, guess I ain't got over the effect of it yet. That looks like a nasty bump, all right. But nothing seems to be broken. Oh, but my neck will be when the boss finds out that her wagon, cargo, mail, and horses has been swiped. You work for a woman? Uh, name's Elaine. She runs the Western Freighting Outfit. You wouldn't be going over toward Bitter Creek Way, would you? And that's exactly where we're going, to see an old friend. The apple will carry double. Come on. Unless uh, Pancho prefers to walk for the good of his corporation. I don't got no cooperation, only when I eat free holes. <laughs> Come on. Your mass men rode out of some rocks and started drawing lead. Jared, he did it to force me to sell. Why, that low down sidewinder. I'll fix him. I'll blow him from here to Jericho. Mr. Lane. Don't you, Mr. You Lane? Why, what's wrong? I'll. Let me go. I'm going to kill that devil no good. Give me that gun. No. No, Mr. Lane. 
Will you please tell us what this is all about? As if you didn't know. I don't know. Neither do I. <laughs> and I don't know the same way. I'll tell you. I was held up on the way to Sundance a while ago. Elaine thinks you hired the signwinders at dinner. What? Have you lost your mind? I wouldn't stoop to anything like that. No. No. I've known Mr. Jarrett for many years, and he's a very fine man. Who are you? I'm the Cisco kid. And I am Pancho Miguel Fernando Gonzalez y Conejo. The Cisco kid. So Jarrett hired you to do his dirty work. No, 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 senorita. We are friends over. Shut over. up. As for you, Jarrett, don't think you could force me out of business. I'm a fighter, and I'll fight you to the bitter end. Oh, Miss Elaine, you forgot your gun. Come on, Klondike. <laughs> <laughs> that, that little wild cat is a spit in the fire, no? Oh, she's <laughs> crazy. I didn't hire anybody. Of course you didn't. But she'll never believe you until the real crooks are caught. Oh, oh. <laughs> the fire's in the fat now. Where we start this time, Cisco? We'll start with a stolen freight wagon, Pancho. If we can find it and return it to her, she might change her mind about us and about Jarrett, too. You can make that wild cat change her mind about anything. I'll buy you two the best saddles in Texas. It's a deal. Pancho? Let's try to find that wagon before sundown. What's the matter, Pancho? Oh, you know, Cisco, I've been thinking. Oh, you know, it isn't very good for you to think. But this time I've been thinking very hard. About what? Well, I've been thinking about these wagons. Pancho, wagons have wheels, don't they? You see? And the wheels leave tracks, no? Eh? Well, then we'll follow the tracks until we find the outlaws. <laughs> Cisco, you got brains, eh? <laughs> you know, that's just what I've been thinking all the time. Pancho, here is where the tracks leave the road. Come on. Back to the girl. Pancho, you get in and drive the wagon. I'll take the horse. We will return in just a moment with the climax of our exciting adventure of the Cisco Kid. You and I found it up on the hill. The cargo was gone. The outlaws must have carried it away. Now maybe you change your mind about Cisco and Pancho, no? No. No. We'll be finding your wagon on top of the hills for you. Naturally. You knew where to look for it. Oh, that busted Elaine. These hombres couldn't have swiped that wagon. Why, they were... Klondike, when I want your opinion, I'll ask for it. What was that you said, Miss Elaine? I didn't say anything. Oh, my mistake. I thought I heard you say thank you. <laughs> well, I see you found the wagon. Yes, we found the wagon. Empty. <laughs> Can you imagine that she thinks we are still the bandidos? It will take an act of Congress to make her change her mind about anything. Well, looks like we're all up a tree, Cisco. I'm not so sure. Tell me, 
When is the opening of your stage line? Next week, but I'm making a test run tomorrow. If I can show the post office department that I can cut even an hour off the Western Line's time to Sundance, I'll have a good chance to get the mail contract away from that female wildcat. That gives me an idea. I think I know how to find out who these outlaws are. Got your message, Judd. What's up? The express company shipping $3,000 in gold on the stage. You sure? Yeah. Elaine's fit to be tied. <laughs> she is, eh? Yeah. She always handled those gold shipments before. But since these holdups, they don't figure the Western's safe. They don't figure that anybody would expect to find the gold on the stage. Which only goes to show how dumb some people can be. <laughs> <laughs> Done your share of the driving, Jared. From here on, Pancho will take over. I still think I ought to do the driving. Oh, that don't make no difference. Pancho don't worry about a little thing like losing his life. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever happens, Pancho, don't stop that stage. Not even if the bandido with bullets come down like rain. <laughs> Not even then. <laughs> Climb up. Bueno. Jarrett's on his way. Good. Let's move. Jarrett's supposed to be driving the stage. Ah, uh, never mind that. Let's get that strong box. Thank you. 
told you them hummers is all right. Give me that scatter gun. Out of there. John! You know him? Know him? Dad busted his Elaine's cousin. <laughs> did you catch him, Cisco? Oh, I know you would. <laughs> I see you did all right, too. <laughs> did you have much trouble? No, 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 just like falling on top of the log. <laughs> <laughs> Everything worked out just as you planned, Cisco. They were fit to be tied when they found out there wasn't any gold on the stage. Only a box of rocks. <laughs> Come on, Judd. Join your jailbird friends. I've already apologized to Cisco, Mr. Jarrett. Now I'm apologizing to you. I'll accept, but only on one condition. That from now on, you call me Bill. Agreed, Bill. Hey, Pancho. Looks like we've been playing Cupid. <laughs> it's better to happen to him, not you. Let's win. <laughs> Saddles, where shall I send them? We'll be back one of these days. Maybe on your wedding day. Pancho. <laughs> well, people get married, don't they? Oh, Pancho. Oh, Cisco. <laughs> the Cisco kid will be back in a moment. But first, an important message. Goodbye, amigos. See you soon. <laughs> Thanks for joining us for this wonderful episode of Cisco and Poncho. We hope you'll come by and see us at www.toyguntown.com.
take a look at the things we have there. And remember, Wild West Toys is the only manufacturer of American-made Western toy cap guns, and they're die-cast metal and Texas tough. Thanks again for joining us, and we hope to see you again on down the trail.